All right, so we are looking at uh, geoboard fractions like we did in class. And now we're imagining that this little geoboard is now a garden. And we're planting vegetables. And how much, uh, how many vegetables will be in each section of the garden? So before we even do that, I think it helps to like review the idea of fractions using these geoboards. So if you wanted half of the geoboard, or the garden, you just cut it in half, okay? And of course, there's more than one way to do that. Uh, there's even more than that, but that's just some examples. And if you want one-fourth of the geoboard, then you can cut it into four equal pieces somehow. So that would be one-fourth. That would give you four pieces, each one-fourth. Um, and then if you cut a fourth in half, you get eights. So there I have eight equal pieces. Those would all be eights. And again, that's just one way to do eights. You could do it different directions too. Um, and then sixteenths. There are sixteen boxes. Sixteenths would look like that. And I don't think we're going to go further, but if you did cut a sixteenth and a half, half of a sixteenth, those would be one thirty-second. Or that's two thirty seconds, but one thirty seconds would be half of one of the small boxes. So now we we know what those look like. Uh, we can probably pretty easily answer these questions. Okay, so half tomatoes. We know a half would be something like this. And I'm gonna label it a half and write tomatoes, and then one fourth squash and one fourth lettuce. So what does one fourth look like? Well, we could do it either like this or like that. Either are okay. They're both one-fourth. So I will do my one-fourth like this. And I have one-fourth squash and one-fourth lettuce. Although oh, squash aren't really blue. But anyways, then down here... Uh, one-fourth tomatoes, one-fourth squash, one-fourth lettuce. Does one-fourth should be easy. Let's remind ourselves what does one-eighth look like. One-eighth of this 16 grid box would be two boxes. Those would be one-eighth. So uh, I would have peppers would be like that there. And then the rest of it should be easy. And then, uh, okay, you've got tomatoes and cabbage and peppers. And then what fraction is unplanted? What fraction is unplanted now? Over here, we have some of our first uh, fractions with a numerator of more than one. So three sixteenths tomatoes. So remember one sixteenth is like one box. So three sixteenths would be like that. Then I have two eighths is peppers. Maybe I'll be able to buy my tomatoes. So peppers, remember one eighth, if I can get over there, again is like this size so now i have two eights two eights would be two of those sections is if i can get back there uh peppers so two eights one eight two eights peppers okay and then uh finally Oh, um, for this other one too, don't forget what fraction of the garden is unplanted. So get in the, we got tomatoes, we got peppers, put in the cabbage and then figure out what fraction is unplanted. And then down here, you're making your own plan for five different vegetables. So maybe I'm going to start out with uh, one fourth of broccoli. Okay, and then maybe I want one-eighth of 
corn and you can do five vegetables and label each one in the fraction but then you need to write an equation so you're basically going to have uh, five fractions adding up to be one whole garden and that would be the end of this homework and thank you and goodbye